I was invited down to Caterham at Silverstone and I couldn't understand why anybody would want to place a deposit on this car, especially with it being an electric sports car. And we know that electric cars are boring to drive. So why would Caterham even attempt this? No other manufacturer would come out with a car with no sport storage space, only three seats and an electric range of 200 miles. So I decided to go down anyway, just to check out what this car was all about. And it was stunning. It was nothing you'd ever expect from Caterham. It's more like a design from Aston Martin with those wide haunches at the back and small details such as the Caterham logo LED in the headlights. And the interior quality, to be fair, was absolutely outstanding, paying little tributes to the old Caterham 7s, such as the small steering wheel, gauges and switches. But also they had Apple CarPlay and LED screens everywhere. It looked phenomenal. The quality of the Alcantara, the general feeling, the seating position, everything felt like a high-end car. I especially like the spec of this car, which is like an Aston Martin green with a light gray interior. I would never expect a car like that myself, but it turned out to be a great choice because in the flesh, it looked amazing. So you've got a car with three seats, no storage space, it's an EV, a range of only 200 miles, no manufacturer in their right mind would release this car. But after saying that to Caterham themselves, I realized that that is exactly why they released this car. The fact that no other manufacturer can release a car with no storage space allows them more space to do a double wishbone suspension and create enough room for all of the battery packs to be able to create a performance car that is light and handles well. It's only got three seats because that gets around the regulations because if you have a car that seats four people, you have to have additional crumple zones and therefore the design of the car and your ability to create a well handling car, it adds more weight to the car and therefore a worse driving experience. So compared to the likes of Porsche, who eventually when they bring out the 911 as an EV, they're going to need two rear seats. They're going to need storage space and they're going to need all of the comforts and mod cons. Therefore, they're never going to have the same driving experience as this Caterham. So what this Caterham is, is it's a toy. If you want to just open your garage up with your 200 miles of range and you just want to have a evening blast in your EV, have the best time and return home to charge it, that's what this car is all about. Personally, I don't see me buying this particular car, but now I understand why people would buy it and I can see people putting down deposits on it because it's going to be the only EV that is a true driving experience.